Hey everybody, welcome to this week's live energy update. Yay! I hope that you all had an awesome weekend. And it's already Thursday. Um, okay, I thought the weekend was closer. <laughs> um, it's Thursday and um, I've been feeling really good. I hope that you've been feeling really good too. Um, it feels like a real time for settling into um, a rhythm. I think that's symbolic for fall and Everyone, all the kids go back to school and um, we get back into a rhythm and a schedule and so I've been doing that for myself and um, it's been feeling really good so I'm happy to um, be back to do this and um, if you haven't caught my um, channeling from last weekend, um, last Saturday um, that is on my page here, so definitely watch that. And, um, let's just get into this week, because this week is what matters. If you don't have some water, go get some water. Um, water is the conduit for healing. And when we're doing meditation together, and, you know, focusing together, it's good to, to have water. So go get some water, and then um, we'll just start by um, settling into your space, into your body, and take some deep breaths. <laughs> Sometimes I forget to do that. So just take some deep breaths, and so inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth. You can close your eyes as you do this. And I like to imagine a golden light entering into my body when I inhale. And as you exhale, you can imagine any um, excess energy in your body, anything that is stressing you out right now, leaving your body as smoke. This is a really great visualization. Or, or butterflies, you can imagine that energy transforming into butterflies. So let's just do that for maybe 30 seconds. You can also Allow your hands to be open facing the sky and allow your fingers to be gently open. This allows the energy to flow and to help us. So when our body is open, then the energy is open also. And then you can gently bring your focus to your heart space. Visualizing a golden sun shining brightly in the heart. Feeling this warmth and brightness within you. Just allowing your breath to shift as you bring this visualization into you. You should notice the feeling of more space in your chest. 
as you see this light expanding, encompassing your entire chest and encompassing your entire upper body. And now expanding to encompass your entire body in this light. Just feel how you feel completely held in this light, completely in joy and comfort. Allowing yourself to just become more and more still and centered as you move deeper into this feeling. And then from the heart, you say out loud in the heart, I am in the universe. The universe is in my body. The universe and I combine together. And now feel the merging between you and the divine, between you and your God. And you can ask your God or the divine to help you now and whatever you need if it's healing, if it's strength or courage, or if it's wisdom in some way or another, with humbleness you now visualize this presence of your divine, of your God, coming across the universe to be right with you. You imagine this presence as a golden sun, a golden ball of light right in front of you. And now you can say to your divine what you need. And now just allow yourself to surrender with gratitude. Feeling this incredible support around you. And just let go into your body, dropping the shoulders, feeling it is the perfect time to let go of all of your worries or concerns. And just continue to focus on the heart now. Focusing on this golden light expanding further and further outside of you and healing your body and your mind and your spirit on all levels as you are doing this. Dear ones, it's a time of gratitude 
to have gratitude for yourself, for how, how far you have come, how far you have come in this magnificent journey of self-realization. Now you have heard this word self-realization before, but it's not how we are meaning it to sound. It is more than just a concept. It is an embodiment. And each and every one of you are on your own journeys of embodying this deeper truth and meaning. Each and every one of you have your own signature, your own personality your own uniqueness that you are embodying with this seed of truth that strings throughout all of humanity. So of course it is that you are part of this grander oneness, this grander wholeness, and yet there is a uniqueness to you. And that is so special. So the gratitude for this week comes from the knowing, the observation of your uniqueness. How in every aspect of you, you are sharing something that is so different. So varying from every single one around you. And that is a good thing. So, last week as we were talking about embodying your full nature, embodying your fullness in every area that you can, in your physical body, in your spiritual practice, which, by the way, can be anything, and in the way that you speak, in the way that you dress, in the way that you show up in every aspect of you, in your own uniqueness, how to embody this in the fullest way that you can. And it doesn't take courage, it takes a willingness. Because courage emphasizes that it is not natural to you, that you must gain something in order to feel comfortable into something that is an extension of who you truly are. It could be no more natural than this. So do not have fear about what is natural for you. If there are certain aspects of you that you want to deepen into, that you want to give more energy to, simply allow it to be. It's not something to practice. It's not something to take classes on. It's simply something to embody. And so, in this time, it's about embodying all of these aspects of uniqueness about you that can help you to feel more full, more alive, more in you. So it's not a time to be a copycat to your friends, to your family, to your community. It's about embodying your uniqueness. So it comes down to even as you are having a conversation and you'll notice others have different points of view and can you allow yourself to stand in your point of view with compassion and with love and with a gentleness about you. When you can simply show up in that place where you are 
fully stepped into you and also in a way that is gentle with yourself and with others, that is when true communication begins. True connection begins. So it's about stepping into you and it's about the connection that comes from that. So many of you are seeking deeper connections. So you are wanting deeper relationships with those around you. And even with strangers around you, you want to, to feel more connected to those around you. So what we are saying is it's not about them, it's about you. Can you give yourself permission to stand in, to step in to the most natural part of you? And once you do this, you will feel a sigh of, of relief, a sigh of an air about you that is openness and all-inclusiveness instead of divisiveness and being selective with yourself. It's time to be all-inclusive. And those pieces of yourself that you are scared to move into, that you feel you are called to, but you are not confident about, don't push yourself. Simply hold space for it to become a part of you. Hold compassionate space for that. And there you will find, there you will find yourself expanding and blooming and growing and becoming. So it doesn't take forcefulness or strategies. It takes simply a willingness and the ability to hold a gentle space for yourself. That is all you must do is hold a gentle space. And then you will find, you will find so many blessings within and around you. So use this technique or this toolbox that we are, we are reminding you about and use it. Use it in your week in a way that applies to you specifically. But the, the overall message is to step in, to step in with both feet. So it's not about saving something for later instead if something does not work out. For instance, you are planning to see a friend and yet you have a backup plan in case that does not work out. This is an example. These are a simple example to explain to you how there are many areas in which you are only stepping in with one foot. We're asking you to move in the direction where the energy is, where it feels full and in alignment, and then step in with both feet and know that it is perfect for you. And expect to be in synchronicity with those experiences. And when it does not feel full, when it does not feel luscious to you, when it does not feel expectant of miracles and abundance, then do not put your energy in that direction. So it's time to expect more of yourself and also to, to intend more miracles around you. because miracles are supposed to be part of your everyday experience, not a rare occurrence. So allow these messages to seep into your bones, to seep into your mind, and use it as a catalyst to awaken whatever you need to within you, for it is a time for that. We 
are always here to help you in whatever way that we can. To assist you in the changes that are taking place. To bring you comfort and peace and prosperity. And so it is. So gently bring your focus back to the heart and see this light from the heart slowly moving down to the lower Dantian, which is the point deep in behind the navel. See this light spinning in a clockwise direction in the lower Dantian. And as it spins faster and faster, it gets brighter and brighter and smaller and smaller. Until it reaches the size of a small energy pill and it tucks itself deep in behind the navel. And then bring in three more deep, gentle breaths. Gently bring your focus back into the room. Rub your hands together, interlacing your fingers. Massage the face. Massage the ears. Make sure to get every part of the ear. And then just do an extra tug on the on the bottom the earlobes. This one is especially important. You'll feel your whole body heat up when you do this exercise. Because our ears are connected to the whole body, or I should say the whole body is connected to our ears. And that is it. So thank you everybody for joining. It was very hard to come out of that. <laughs> so I'm just going to take some more time for myself here. And um, I appreciate everyone that joined in and those that are listening to the replay from YouTube as well. Um, thank you for, for um, joining. <laughs> I'm spaced out. And um, also stay tuned because I am editing book two, Teachings from God book two, currently. And so this is exciting. Um, more content is coming out soon. But what is great about what we're doing right now is we're, we're still staying connected. Um, and there's not so much space in between, um, you know, when I, when I connect because 
this next book has been sort of coming out in chunks, so I've been posting um, a lot of recordings on YouTube that are going to be, well, are in the second book already, so um, that's pretty cool, and it allows all of you to be part of it as well. So, thank you for joining, as I said, for like the third time. <laughs> And um, I hope you have a great weekend coming up soon. And if this video helped you, um, be sure to share it with your friends. And um, all of the replays are on my website and on my YouTube channel. So if you want to watch those and other videos that I've done, um, check them out there. So I will catch you soon and have a awesome week.